When you look at your wealth, when your house degrades, how do you repair it? Calling in an expert. Hiring someone. Yeah. So you paid someone money to maintain it. So the poor are benefiting from your wealth by virtue of it just degrading. So just, if you were to emulate that with money, yeah. as in this poor person or this other person who's need money, he brought in to you to wax the hull of your ship or to buff your car or to maintain your engine. So he's benefiting by you just having your wealth, uh -huh. except money. There's no way for him to benefit from your money unless we impose that in there mm -hmm. with zakah. So the poor or the needy or whatever, they're still benefit from you having money so essentially you've by virtue of zakah zakah is the way of balancing the scales with all your wealth mm. all your wealth by virtue of you having the wealth benefits the poor in a trickle down motion mm. by you having it it just trickles down to the rest of the people with interest does the complete opposite it allows you to suck up the value from the poor back up to you so it's unnatural it's unhealthy and it's and it's destructive it's literally the opposite of zakah it's literally it's not just the opposite of zakah it's the opposite of how allah created everything everything degrades everything by entropy destroys itself what does entropy even mean all entropy means when you have tea your wife makes your tea and she adds milk the moment that milk hits that tea that milk is localized in a location but over time through entropy the milk dissipates so it encompasses the whole cup of tea it averages out everywhere so entropy means to average out to become uniform mm -hmm. That's the opposite wealth. I have accumulated wealth because I've got skill, I've got business, and it's accumulated into a little pile. Mm. Over time, entropy lets it flow outwards to those who mm. don't have. What interest does is the complete opposite. It sucks it back or backwards. It's just like you can't turn back time. Here's the heads of questions and the scientists ask, what causes time to go forward, not backwards? <laughs> entropy. I'm not going to the science <laughs> of it, but... Entropy is what causes things to go forward and not backwards. It causes you to, for example, you can't unstir a cup of tea. Mm. So it's called entropy. But likewise, interest is the complete opposite of how Allah created creation. Okay. It's unnatural. When you look at 